Hello everyone, a very warm good evening to one and all present out there in the matchless name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. It gives me immense pleasure and delight to meet you on this live platform provided by Facebook and to pray with you, meditate with you and to reflect on the wonderful insights provided by the Lord Almighty in His Holy Word, through His Holy Word. Uh, today evening we shall be meditating from Psalm 26 from the Holy Bible. Psalm 26, I shall read the psalm out for you and thereafter we shall uh, derive some insights and wonderful meditation and a time of devotion out of this psalm. Psalm 26 Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trust in the Lord without wavering. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for your love is ever before me. And I walk continually in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful men, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I abhor the assembly of evildoers and refuse to sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wonderful deeds. I love the house where you live, O Lord, the place where your glory dwells. Do not take away my soul along with sinners, my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hands are full of bribes. But I lead a blameless life. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My feet stand on level ground. In the great assembly, I will praise the Lord. So that was Psalm 26. And uh, it is a psalm of vindication, a prayer for uh, vindications. You see, so this psalm is divided into three parts. It's a prayer for vindication. Now, vindication means the action of clearing someone of blame or suspicion. It is an act when someone has been cleared of all the blames and suspicions and doubts and accusations or allegations. So when you stand vindicated, that's, that means you are clear of all the blames. You are clear of all the false allegations that have been levied against you. So the, the very first question that comes to our mind is, what do you do when you are falsely accused? You see, how pertinent and how contemporary this question is. Every day, every moment, we hear false reports against us. We listen to some stories where uh, we, are, uh, 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 we are quoted out of the context, you know, where we are misunderstood. There's so much chaos that way. So how many times this has been the way of the world? So what do you do when you are falsely accused? When people spread false reports against you? When there are bad testimonies about you, around you? Or people spread rumors against you, you see? You can't go about telling everyone and pleading that you're not guilty, you see? You can't go about, you can't waste your time. You can't go about grumbling and complaining and whining about all these things so you have to do what King David does and what he does is what we read in Psalm 26 you see King David was uh, uh, was in a situation where there were so many enemies around him his own closest friends his family members turned to be his enemies you see there was so much of aggression by his enemies but he says this is a prayer for vindication this is a prayer where he pleads to the Lord where he pleads to the Lord to clear him of all the false allegations that have been levied against him. So that's what I'm saying. And here we are in the position of King David. We are in his position. And many times even we have been false, falsely quoted, you see. People tell wrong things about us. People are very judgmental about us. So what does David do and what does David tell us to do? So what do we learn from this psalm? You see, David has the answer when people spread lies about you number one he says there are nine points which we can take from this from verses one to six 
he says i have led a blameless life so uh, when people spread false reports against you when you are quoted out of context when you are being misunderstood when you are being falsely uh, when uh, false allegations are levied against you first thing you need to have a conviction and that conviction would come out of the holy spirit you need to have a conviction that you have lived a blameless life you have not sinned by thought by word by deed you have not sinned at your mind at the level of your mind at the level of your thoughts at the level of your attitudes at the level of your uh, opinions about others at the level of your mouth at the level of your speech at the level of at the verbal level and also at the level of deeds your behavior your walks have been blameless so first of all david says i have led a blameless life so please vindicate me lord i plead you to clear me of all the allegations all the suspicions and blame that are levied against me second point i have trusted in the lord without wavering yeah this is this unwavering trust the unfaltering trust in the lord that will lead you to the path of being vindicated of being cleared from all the allegations against you so first you live a blameless life second an unwavering trust in the lord and third fourth fifth and sixth david tells the lord you test me lord you test me you see the lord tested abraham's faith by telling him to offer his only son as a sacrifice and abraham obeyed without one seed of doubt without any uh, uh, without any unfaltering doubt you see he obeyed the lord he knew that the lord has given the progeny uh, the son to him the lord has given an offspring unto him and the lord will take care the lord had already promised that i will make you a great nation your uh, descendants will be as numerous as the sand of the sea as the stars in the sky so the same lord who has proclaimed who has announced that blessing for me will surely help me out and without any seed of doubt without uh, with an unf unfaltering trust in the living god abraham was ready to offer his own son and the lord tested him and the lord was happy and delighted at see uh, by looking at abraham's uh, attitude towards him towards his actions so you see so king david says test me lord you test me and you find out whether i am right in your sight if there is any wrong in me you correct me you chide me you admonish me in the best way try me lord examine my heart and my mind you see he he invites the lord into his heart into his mind into his whole existence he has offered his whole existence to the lord so he says you trust you test me you try me you examine my heart and my mind i walk continually in your truth so this is what we derive from verses 1 to 6 of psalm 26 i continually walk in your truth walking in the in your path walking in your truth walking in your ways is a, it has been a habit in my life so i need to be vindicated so he looks up above for the solution he doesn't go about uh, proclaiming that he has not done anything wrong he doesn't want to plead that he has done uh, the right things of course he doesn't want to brag about all the good things that he has done he doesn't want to waste time that way so where he is looking he is looking straight up he is looking at the lord almighty himself and he is pleading his cause I do not sit with deceitful men in Psalm 1 and verse 1 we read blessed is the man who does not sit in the seat of mockers so those people who are doing the wrong things those people who are spreading false things I do not sit with them I do not spread deceit I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar O Lord So when you have to go into the altar of the Lord you have to cleanse yourselves you have to cleanse your mind from all impure thoughts you have to cleanse your mouth so that no impure words no bad or filthy words come out of your mouth you have to cleanse yourself you have to wash yourself you have to proclaim your innocence and that assurance in the living god will surely bring that vindication for you so when you are being misunderstood when there is this confusion and chaos and all misunderstanding surrounding you when relationships are strained in some way whatsoever 
you plead unto the Lord. So this prayer, the first part, Psalm 26, part 1, the first section, it is a prayer for vindication. He wants the God Almighty himself to intervene in his life and in his day-to-day -day affairs. So the same thing is what is ex uh, he exhorts you and me to do. David was surrounded by so many enemies. Yeah, his very own close family members. In the later part of his life, some of his sons rebelled against him. So there was no peace that way. And his own commander, uh, his own uh, ministers, you know, his own cabinet turned up against him. Some members did that. There were so many decisions that were being taken without his con uh, consent. So in that way, David felt hurt. He was upset and vexed by all these people. And he was misquoted all the time. But only thing that he did right was he clung on to the living God. He did not uh, lose his faith or confidence or trust in the Lord Almighty. In Psalm 56 verse 3 we read, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6, we are exhorted to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our, on our own understanding. In all our ways, we need to acknowledge him and he will make our paths straight. In Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7, we read, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord himself. Psalm 17 verse 2 says, May my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right, not man's eyes. You see, this is the difference. You don't want any man to mediate. You don't want any man to take your side. That is only temporary. That is not long lasting. You want the Lord Almighty to see what is right. So David says, you test my heart. Test me, try me, examine my heart and mind, examine my thoughts and attitude. So if that is crystal clear, if that is without any blemish or without any spot, then the Lord himself will plead your cause and he will vindicate you of all the misunderstandings, of all the confusions, of all the troubles. So you see Psalm 17 verse 2 says, May my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. Psalm 17 verse 3 again, though you probe my heart and examine me at night, though you test me, you will find nothing. I have resolved that my mouth will not sin. See that resolution, that decision, that firm statement that he says, I have resolved that I will not sin with my mouth. That itself shows that David has the Lord, has the living Lord on his side. And it is the same Lord who helped him to conquer the giant Goliath. And David had the, had the power, you see, he was ordained, he was anointed as the king, the second king of Israel after Saul. So you see, such a beautiful prayer of vindication. So friends, take heart, be happy that the Lord is with you, that he won't allow you to be moved or to be shaken. In Isaiah 26 verse 3 we read, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. So if you trust in him, if your mind is fixed on him, we are at perfect peace. That is the solution. That is the answer. Hallelujah. What a wonderful uh, uh, verse this is. You keep him in perfect peace. There is perfect peace. You see, the peace that transcends all understanding. Uh, who has that perfect peace? Only those whose mind is stayed on the living Lord because we trust in him. And you have to resolve, we resolve with our mouth that we will not sin in any way whatsoever. So that resolution, that prayer will help us to be vindicated of all the problems surrounding us, of all the uh, trials and temptations and tribulations and persecutions that are rising against us in an overwhelming manner. So come what may, the Lord is there to vindicate me. The Lord is there to plead my cause, to fight my case and to clear me out of all the doubts and suspicions and problems and accusations that are levied against me every day every moment like arrows you see there are accusations against you people are so judgmental so critical about you 
and it is the tendency of the people to do that and you don't have to go and plead your cause to him no i didn't do the wrong thing i am right it is i was around you don't have to go and be uh, uh, you don't have to explain your situation to people every time let them understand you in whatever uh, uh, th uh, by in whatever way they think about you it is not your responsibility it is not your prerogative to go and plead your cause or fight your cause every time the lord will do that because you live a blameless life you put your unfaltering unwavering faith and trust in the lord god almighty you allow him to examine your heart and your mind and you allow him to test you and try you, you and you continually walk in his ways there is nothing that is going to shake you and let us look to the lord in prayer this is prayer time so i request you to submit your prayer requests unto the lord and it is he who will provide you with answers to your prayers with solutions to your problems and a, a a conclusion to all the decisions that you are uh, battling with you know the kind of thoughts and the kind of uh, situations you are surrounded with it is only the lord god almighty who understands your situation man may fail at times you know friends may be trained relations may be strained but the living lord is the same yesterday today and forever and he is worthy enough to save he is powerful to heal us let us look to the lord in prayer our gracious heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful time of meditation and devotion and contemplation you have given to us thank you master for psalm 26 how beautifully it describes the contemporary situations and the pertinent uh, circumstances right now which are going on around us lord there are times when people uh, quote us wrongly when people misunderstand us there are times that we are being uh, uh, falsely accused lord this is a prayer for vindication how sincerely how brilliantly king david does that he offers himself as a living sacrifice unto you he wants you to take up his cause to fight his case and to uh, and to defeat his enemies so the same prayer is ours as well uh, heavenly father lord we know that uh, you are the lord who who is mighty enough to save heavenly father for you nothing is difficult master you help us and you save us with your outstretched arms almighty lord lord you know our hearts heavenly father you test us you try us you examine us and you understand our situations heavenly father and yes lord we can resolve like king david did not to sin with our mouths not to sin with our mind not to sin at the level of thoughts not to sin with our hands yes master we take the same resolution right now master we walk continually in your light lord we uh, we can uh, we make we take a resolution to live a blameless life from now on blameless in the sight of the lord Yes master not even one blemish should be in our lives master whatever situations we are surrounded with you know that master you are the omnipotent god nothing is beyond you nothing is beyond your control your reach i pray for all my friends and family members my students extended families who are watching me live lord you be with them you understand their situations heavenly father you fight the battles for them master you be the victor for them heavenly father bring them victory master bring them answers to their prayers bring them bring them solutions to their problems heavenly father let there be your grace your peace and your mercy surrounding them in abundance heavenly father let their cups overflow let them be anointed with the oil with the the same anointing that you gave to king david the same anointing should flow in our lives as well heavenly father let the holy spirit take control let the holy spirit guard us protect us save guard us from any kind of perils and let that still small voice of the holy spirit fill our hearts with joy and delights master without any boundaries yes lord we pray that your holy power descend upon us heavenly father lord we pray for our nation india thank you lord for the dip in the number of covid cases the new infections every day thank you lord for the dip in the daily death ratio as well lord we thank and praise you heavenly father for pe keeping our people safe thank and praise you master for protecting us with good health thank and praise you lord for the habitations that you have given to us thank you lord for be for being our dwelling place lord you are our dwelling place we read in psalm 91 verse 1 he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty yes lord we live in the shelter of the most high 
thank you lord for protecting us under your wings thank you lord for protecting us every moment thank you lord for allowing us to breathe fresh air lord we pray that all these germs all the bacteria all the virus be away from us in the name of jesus lord help us to be safe wherever we are let our children be brought up in safe environments let our elderly people be safe wherever they are lord you take control and you will do mighty and miraculous things for your glory you take control our lives of our lives you take control of our marriages you take control of our families you take control of our jobs and enterprises you take control of our students studies you take control of their uh, of their future lord we pray for all the youth of india you take control of all the youth of india in particular and the world at large lord you take control heavenly father wherever there are false accusations wherever there are rumors let it be brought to end this is a prayer for vindication you clear us master of all the suspicions and all the false allegations that are surrounding us that are being thrown at us you plead uh, for us heavenly father we commit all our troubles unto you we submit all our supplications unto you we commit all our petitions unto you you bring us the answer at the right time at the right time let your will be done in our lives help us to live a life approved by you for your glory we pray this prayer in the sweetest and the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen and amen so friends take heart be cheerful this is a prayer of, of vindication the lord will keep you safe from all the false allegations from all the problems in your relationships from all the problems in your friendships in your marriage in your job what at whatever level you see he whose mind is stayed on him on the lord almighty that person will be in perfect peace and it is that perfect peace that you and i strive for and definitely the almighty lord will bless us with his outstretched arms see you tomorrow till then take heart be happy remember prayer brings victory always so submit yourselves unto the lord commit whatever problems you have unto him and surely there is an end to all the problems may god bless us all see you tomorrow bye bye take care god bless you